decided to become a programmer ever since, um, I guess, my high school experience um, because um, I was in a, a four-year program like in high school called Global IT Academy, coding, um, many different stuff from Visual Basic, JavaScript, Flash, just like um, variety and then uh, just kind of getting exposed to those programming. Um, they got me interested in that, uh, the thrill of programming. And that's why I decided to continue on in college. I know a lot of people say this, but I'll type some like you know a few lines, and then it just does something, create something from nothing. I think that's a thrill. Some people say eeks or geeks, right? There are a lot of programmers, a lot of like you know gamers and whatnot. But some I know are like you know dancers and stuff like that. Cause we're all same college students, all having different interests. I don't really like the stereotype because when I introduce myself. Uh, as an EECS student, they're like, oh, you're EECS, you know? Oh, I never thought you were EECS. That kind of responses that I get. I guess people do have that stereotype of EECS girls being like, you know, the nerdy one, only like studying the whole time. Not really. I want to go out, you know, like, you know, shopping with my friends, you know, go to a cafe. It's very interesting, like, in 200 people class, like, you know, there's barely like 20. All girls. I feel like girls are more social, like in the communication wise, I think girls tend to be more softer than guys and, and um, communicating and teaching each other. Personally, whenever I see X girls, I'm like, oh yay, finally I found a friend, you know, kind of that kind of joy. Because there's so few girls in X community, if some girls are cute, I see you know, guys always like talking to that girl. I think there is a little bit of sexism there. Some partners that I worked with um, for a composite project, they weren't like really expecting me to do well. So that kind of like motivated me more. They was like, oh, that I'm gonna show you, you know, kind of that motivation thing. I actually came here as undeclared. Um, or undeclared engineering and um, it was not until second semester of college uh, that I started taking computer science class and it was really tough uh, although I had like four years of programming experiences first um, CS61A with um, Professor Harvey was very challenging and it was hard but at the same time it was very mind-blowing very stretching of my knowledge of programming. Back in high school, I had like my friends who I'm taking classes together for four years, so whom I can go to ask for help a lot. And here, it's just like a, it was so new, and it was just hard for me to ask for help. I think, I think I had a lot of like that, that pride. I think a lot of Berkeley students go through this because we're good students. We are like you know all 4.0 students back in high school valedictorians and whatnot. So it's kind of hard for us to realize that we need help. That when we realize that we need tutoring, that we need to go and ask for help from our peers, from our uh, TAs and stuff like that. Uh, I think just kind of like uh, getting used to that. This year actually, I have more friends in my uh, ComSec classes or my E classes uh, who are really helping me out and whom I can help too. So um, I think I was lacking that in my freshman year and that's, that contributed a lot to my challenges. Actually, it was my mom who was keep on saying engineering, engineering, the whole time in high school, that when I came here, when I, um, when I was like, crushed by you know, this all eek stuff, all engineering stuff, I had no idea what to do afterwards. I had no idea what other interests that I had. But after like, uh, I was telling her how hard it is, like all the harshest, I, like, crying over the phone she's more open now she's like go oh, do whatever you want to do but at the same time she was telling me that um whatever field you're gonna go you're gonna hit that block and it's your job to overcome it because you're gonna hit that block wherever you're going if you give up then then move on to the next field you're gonna hit that block again and you're gonna do the same thing again so that was kind of advice that she gave me and it was my choice uh doing eeks because she did tell me to like if it's really hard then move out you know do something else
This semester, I'm taking three technical EX courses, and there's one just kind of random, MCB61, brain, mind, and behavior. Actually, before coming to Berkeley, um, I had a chance to be in a research with this one girl in UCI, and the thing that she was doing was basically an interaction between human and technology. I was exposed to that a lot, and that has been my, I don't want to say passion yet, but that has been my interest. And coming here to Berkeley, um, looking at taking all these classes, it seems to be that EX curriculum or the things that we do in EX weren't really focusing on the computer human interaction, more of like you know technical stuff. I was disappointed at that, so that's why I wanted to do the computer science and cog side instead of the EX. I thought it would give me more chance of those area, the human and interaction part, instead of computing alone. But the reason that I didn't switch out was because I already took a lot of courses that is required from engineering. The difference between CompSci in LNS and EECS in College of Engineering was two E classes, and I already took one last semester, so might as well won't take one, and might as well just stay in EECS. So MCB class was like kind of my own satisfaction that I tried. And I'm planning to take more uh, of CogSci classes or um, just kind of in general those areas, psychology, something along the line to kind of expand my interests. Yeah. I don't know, I like computer science, but at the same time, like, Oh, I like the human side of it. We are surrounded by technology all the time. iPhones, the Facebook all the time. And just like how those things like do affect our lives. That interaction is something that I'm really interested about. Something that I really want to know more about. Ultimately, like, I don't want to be just a programmer. I want to do more things than that. I would start working in a tech company, but ultimately I would like to go to grad school. Grad school in different fields. Especially freshmen uh, or even before, um, try to be exposed to a lot of different things. Don't limit yourself to engineering only or EECS only or CompSci only because even though you're, you think you're engineering the whole time, like you might not be the one that you want. Also ask for help. Like don't be scared to ask for help. I think that's uh, one, of the, one of the best things that I've learned this year and one thing that I really wanted to learn. Long, even before.